let's go see some random fish.
so they're having great fun so far. It's so beautiful seeing all the sharks and turtles.
third turtle in here. She looks like a little baked potato. potato um, and she's about 50 or 60 years old, we reckon. She lived in the wild for about 30 or 40 years, but unfortunately she was in a speedboat accident just off the coast of Greece. Um, and she's got neurological damage from the accident, so she just and it will be her retirement home as well. For her species, she could probably live to about 70 or 80, so she's a bit of an old girl. When they were trying to rehabilitate her, they just noticed she wasn't quite behaving how a normal turtle should. Um, sometimes she does a doggy paddle, so she'll move all her fins uh, at different times, uh, which is very normal. They usually do them both at the same time. And she's also got not very good eyesight, so she sometimes bumps. There's 10 sharks in total. Um, this big one here is Dotty, and Dotty is actually a zebra shark. Uh, they're also known as leopard sharks in other parts of the world. But the reason they've got the zebra shark name is because when they're young, they are covered in stripes because they grow up in mangroves. So the stripes help them to uh, blend in with the mangrove roots. Um, and you can actually still see some stripes on her tail left over from when she was young. And then when they get older, they change to a sandy environment and that's why she's got dots to blend in with that. And Dottie's actually been laying eggs recently. Uh, she's been laying them for a few months now. She's also got a pretty special power. Um, her species of shark can stay still in the water. Um, but yeah, unlike the other sharks we've got in here, our black tip reef sharks, they never stop moving, not even for a little break. Uh, because if they stop moving, they stop breathing out through their gills. And that means they even move when they're sleeping. And it's still a mystery to this day as to how they manage to do that. Uh, scientists reckon they go between active and inactive states of swimming. And when they're inactive, uh, they're some people uh, think that sharks are very dangerous, but this is probably due to movies like Jaws and video games where sharks eat people and silly things like that. Um, but they're actually not that dangerous to humans at all. They don't even like the taste of us, and this uh, is for all types of sharks. So we've got too much iron in our blood, so that just makes us really gross to a shark. And because sharks, they're very naturally curious creatures, uh, they just want to know what you are. And they've got terrible eyesight, which means they have to get up really close to you to see what you are. And so if you're swimming on like a bodyboard and paddling, uh, you, might, you might look like a type of fish or a turtle, so it might be coming to, to nibble at you to see what you are. Or not to sound offensive, but if you're in a wetsuit, you might look like a seal to a shark. So they just want to come and check out what you are. They've got no hands, so they can only use their mouth to uh, see what you are. And they'll only ever bite you once. But yeah, unfortunately we kill a lot more sharks than uh, sharks kill us.